Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got a um, how to mine video. It's not a speculative coin mining, uh, mining video. It's been out for a little while. It's called Bitcoin Z. I kind of stumbled upon it. I mean, I know about it for a little while, but I was looking at um, what to mine and it was up near the top in profitability. So I figured, what the heck, why don't I try and mine it? And here I am doing a video on it. All right, see you in a bit. Hey guys, real quick before we go on, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Uh, I've got a couple videos coming out every week, speculative coin mining usually. Uh, I'm trying to get on these new coins, new projects as they come out when the difficulty is low and we can get the most amount of coins out of it. Alright, so I'll do that real quick and let's jump into Bitcoin Z. Uh, Bitcoin talk right here. Um, it's basically like a privatized Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin Z and ZK Snarks Zero Knowledge Snarks and Decentralization We Trust. Um, all these links will be down below, so don't worry about trying to figure out um, all of this information. Let me scroll down here to why Bitcoin Z anonymity, support for different platforms, uh, community, active price growth. Um, I like that the this is a community driven coin. And it's got a lot of different um, contributors from within the community. It's not just like a centralized um, core team. It's got people from all over the world contributing to this uh, project. So not bad. Um, uses the Z hash algorithm, that 144 underscore 5 version, which is, um, I believe Zellcash uses that. Uh, I did a video on that as well a while back. Uh, it's got a high supply, 21 billion. Don't like it to be that high, but you know, you can't always get what you want. So that's briefly what Bitcoin Z is. Again, these links will be down below if you want to go uh, read up more on them. But um, let's get into how to mine it. All right, so here is the wallet, uh, Bitcoin Z Wallet 1.4.1, latest version, about 11 days ago. So you'll click on this link right here for the Windows Wallet. There are other wallets, which I discovered uh, not too long ago. Zellcore has Bitcoin Z within its wallet, and I'll go over that in a second. But anyways, you click that, download it, and here's my NVIDIA rig. If I can get my cursor to show up. Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes it disappears. There we go. All right, so I put it in my... Um, wallets folder called it Bitcoin Z unzip it and you would just double click on Bitcoin Z wallet and it'll take a little while to sync up with the blockchain but once it does um, this is what it'll look like a little different from the other wallets um, but functions nonetheless uh, your address is just click on that You'll have one there. If you want to create a new transparent address you would just click that button right there or if you want it to be private you would click that and it would create a private. So anyways, you'll have one here. I was just experimenting, now that's why this other one popped up. But if you don't have Zellcore uh, wallet, you would just use this wallet, copy that link right there, it's gonna be your address. And this uses the EWBF miner, which I have right here. And you can find that right here is Bitcoin Talk. You would scroll down here and click on the Windows version right there and download the latest version which I believe is 0.6 if I'm not mistaken yes 0.6 right there so again I downloaded it unzipped it called it EWBF Bitcoin Z go into here and you would open up a notepad file and you would paste this information in as you see it right here of course, the only thing you're going to need to change is the pool if you wanted to. And obviously, you're going to need to change the wallet address, um, which is right here. You would need to change that. And here is the, um, the pool, and the port is going to be right there. little different from some of the other miners, but... Again, the bad file will be down below this video, so don't worry about it. Just copy it, paste it into a notepad file. 
Uh, of course, you'll click File, Save As on your notepad. And for the purposes of this video, I'll call it run1.bat to make it a Windows batch file. Close that up. And as you can see, there's run1, which I just created. And once you double click on that, it will pull this miner up and start going. It does take a little bit sometimes for it to find a share. Um, which is why I'm not going to start it and restart it because I just wanted to show you on the pool. And speaking of pools, here I am on two miners. Uh, I've used this for a couple other coins, uh, Metaverse ETP recently. Um, this is the old old hash rate, I think it was. Yes, yeah, 621 I got. This is before I discovered I had it in my Zellcore wallet. So if I go over to here, click on cryptocurrency pools. Go all the way down to the bottom. This will be the one from my Zellcor wallet, and I have 99 so far in there. Uh, right now, I think this coin is 0 .0002. I put it on my spreadsheet. So let me scroll down. Bitcoin Z, yeah, it's 0 .000255 is the price on that right now. Um, different pools you can use there's quite a few of them as you can see here again this link will be down below so don't worry about uh, tracking it down and finding that so uh, like I said I'm using the two miners pool right here the non solo version um, <coughs> AMD the low miner you'll use for your AMD rigs and again I have the bat file for that down below latest version dot seven you'll just click right here and go ahead and download it. This takes you to their GitHub right here for the Lowell Miner. All right, guys. Um, so I guess that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. If you liked the video, hit a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Um, and with that, guys, I guess I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.